Oh, pestilence back again. I'm trying to stay cool. So I uh, get in front of the air conditioner to cool down and I uh, come back and try to get this thing shot. Uh, welcome back and uh, congratulations to William Ansell on his 200th subscriber and 400 plus videos. Uh, for his challenge slash drawing, I'm going to do uh, two. Since I I normally pick, well, I don't have a normal way of picking, I guess would be a better way to put it. Sometimes I'll pick a lock upside down, European style. Sometimes I'll pick one American style. Sometimes I'll pick one right-handed. Sometimes I'll pick one left-handed. So, uh, in the spirit of that, I'm going to uh, do one left-handed, European style, and this one, get back up there, what are you, drunk? Uh, do this one. American style right-handed. However, I would like some information on this lock. Uh, these are all Yale locks. Uh, this one is a Yale, and it looks like uh, this one type, I don't, can't recall what the name of it is, uh, but it does not have anything up here. So it doesn't say what the lock is. It does have this body style, which is uh, like this one lock I'm trying to think of. Uh, however, the other locks that I've seen that look like this uh, don't have this, which looks like a removable core. So if anybody has uh, any information on that, I would appreciate it. Okay. So, uh, we will do this. would be upside down, so that would be uh, European style. Try to get, uh, try to hold on to it so I can, I can see what I'm doing here. It is 96 degrees out today. And it is horrendous. Okay, there we go. Now, that.
just blew a fuse. So apparently everybody's using their air conditioner today. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so. Thank you for watching. Take care. I'm turning my air back on. I gotta get the fuse turned back on, so. Stay legal and cool. Bye.